Mikey the Mime wants to switch it up and try something new. But he seems to be stuck in a box. So let's get him out of the box and to the stage. It's time for this mime to become a rock star. There's a lot of skill that goes into being a rock star, so let's see what you got. Now watch me as I play the A chord. No, 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 Mikey, 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 don't mime the letter A. We play the A chord. You know, if you need my help, you can just ask. An invisible guitar? That was beautiful. Well, it looks like Mikey the Mime doesn't need my help to play guitar. Let's see how he does on the drums. Here, I'll demonstrate. Hey kids, help me count down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Mikey the Mime, you ready to play drums? Wait, Mikey, where are your drums? Do you need me to help you carry them in here? Ah. Whoa. Ow. Where is... All right, Mikey the Mime, you have your guitar? You have your microphone. Now it's time to put it all together and give an amazing performance. You ready? Let me hear you say, let's go Mikey the Mime. Let's go Mikey the Mime. <laughs> you want me to sing? Mikey the Mime. I thought you'd never ask. All right, let's do this. One, 
two, three, four. Switch it up. Switch it up. Switch it up. Mikey the Mime switched it up today and became a rock star. I was so happy when he asked for help and together we rocked. We all need help too. We need forgiveness for things we do wrong. And even though we don't deserve forgiveness, God switches it up for us. He is ready to forgive each of us. All we have to do is ask. Let me hear you repeat after me. I can ask for forgiveness. I can ask for forgiveness. Mikey the Mime and I are gonna keep rocking out. We'll see you next time. Bye. Come on, Mikey. Hey, what's up? I'm Nick. I'm feeling kind of down today. I don't even feel like skating. Sorry, I'm usually in a better mood, but I did something I shouldn't have done. You see, I was supposed to teach some new skaters this morning, but instead of coming up here to work, I lied and told them I had a stomach ache. And then I went to the skate park across town with some other friends. I know I should have done what I said I was going to do, but I really wanted to land this trick I've been working on. And even more, I know I did something that God says not to do. I lied and chose to do what I wanted to do instead of what God says is best. I feel bad about what I did, but I don't even know what to do to fix it. What should I do when I make a mistake? Whenever I have a problem or I have questions like this, I look in the Bible for help. The Bible is God's true message to us about himself. My mistake makes me think of this spot in the Bible about praying or talking to God. Here it is. At the beginning of the New Testament, in the book of Matthew, chapter six, Jesus told the people how they should follow God. One of the things Jesus taught was how to pray and talk to God. Let's see what it says. The Lord's Prayer. Jesus, God's son, went all around a place called Galilee, telling others about God. As Jesus talked to people, excitement about what he was saying spread and large crowds began to gather. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went on a mountain, sat down, and started to teach. Jesus taught about what it means to love people, to serve others, and how to follow God day by day. One thing Jesus taught was how to pray and ask for forgiveness. Jesus said, you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, your name be honored as holy. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Wait, what does that even mean? Holy, kingdom, your will be done? Let's think about this. Maybe we can figure it out. Our Father in heaven. Okay, so we pray to God. He is our Father in heaven because he made us and everything else too. Your name be honored as holy? So that sounds like we're supposed to let God know that we love him and respect him. Holy means that he is set apart and different from everything else. God is perfect and worthy of our honor and respect. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This means that we should pray for things to be done God's way here on earth, like it is in heaven. Let's keep reading. Jesus continued, give us our daily needs and forgive us for our wrong choices, as we also forgive other people's wrong choices. Help us not be tempted by our wrong choices, but help us resist the evil one. For if you forgive others for their wrong choices, your heavenly Father will forgive you as well. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I need to ask for forgiveness. God, please forgive me for lying and not being truthful. I should have done what I said I was going to do. Will you help me ask the other skaters for forgiveness? Thank you for loving and for forgiving me. Please help me obey and follow you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 
God will forgive us when we ask him. But just talking to God isn't the only thing you should do. After we ask God to forgive us, we should ask others to forgive us too. I really need to ask the skaters I was supposed to teach to forgive me. Isn't it great that God loves us so much he made a way for us to be forgiven? God sent his son Jesus so we can be forgiven by God and have a relationship with him. When we pray and ask for forgiveness from God, he will always forgive us. I'm gonna catch the new skaters and apologize. See ya. Hello, Mikey the Mime is out trying to switch it up as a canoe instructor, but I wanted us to look in the Bible and see how God switches it up and forgives us when we make mistakes. The Bible is God's true message to us about himself. Let's see how God planned to switch it up and gives us something different than what we expect. Hebrews 8.12a says, I will forgive their wrongdoing. This verse gives us a lot of hope because we all do things that are wrong. Wrongdoings, or sin, is when we choose to do what we think is best instead of following what God says is best. And sin separates us from God. But God sent Jesus to switch it up and Jesus takes the punishment we deserve for our wrong choices. And instead, he gives us God's forgiveness so we can have a relationship with God forever. Now, everyone, stand up and repeat after me as we say our theme verse. Here we go. Three, two, one. I will forgive. I will forgive. Their wrongdoing. Their wrongdoing. Hebrews 8, 12a. Hebrews 8, 12a. God forgives us. All we need to do is ask. Hey, Mikey the Mime, jump out of that boat and help us say our Bible verse one more time. You ready? Three, two, one. I will forgive their wrongdoing. Hebrews 8, 12a. Great job. See you later, Mikey. Ooh. This verse from the Bible reminds us that we do make mistakes, but we can all be forgiven. Did he just fall in imaginary water? I better go check on him. See you next time.